Even with a COVID-19 vaccine now approved and likely on the move tonight, many are still unsure of whether they even want it. Could this vaccine be harmful and how does it work? News Channel 5's Olivia Michael spoke with a local infectious disease expert about some of the common concerns. As rollout of a COVID-19 vaccine draws near. The vaccine is not a live virus vaccine. There's no way that you can get COVID. Some are raising concerns over any of its possible health risks. It has a tiny little piece of the COVID virus in it, of course, and that's used to stimulate our own immune system to develop protection. Infectious disease expert Dr. William Schaffner calls the vaccine spectacularly successful. The vaccines are 95 plus percent effective, which means that some very few people who are infected may indeed get the illness regardless. The vaccine requires two doses three weeks apart. Schaffner says some might experience a sore arm along with other side effects. And there some people who the day after feel a little fatigued, have a headache, may have a degree of fever, and feel not quite up to things yet. And that's your immune system working with that vaccine. So that's a good thing. He says those with underlying illnesses should seriously consider taking the vaccine. Any kind of health condition probably makes it more likely that should you get infected, you'll get more severely ill. Those are exactly the people we are interested in vaccinating to prevent that development of more severe disease. He hopes after first responders receive the initial batch of vaccinations, the general public will feel comfortable enough to do the same. A certain hesitation or skepticism is normal. It's all very new and we've worked very hard, very fast to develop the vaccines. We've cut no corners. Reporting in Nashville, Olivia Michael, News Channel 5. Dr. Schaffner also says the CDC has not made any kind of official recommendation on yet whether those with severe allergies or pregnant women should get this vaccine or not.